Dallas Cowboys are here at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium to take on the Atlanta Falcons. Both teams have a record of 4-5, and five, so this Week 11 game is going to be crucial to secure that NFC wildcard playoff spot. Alex, you had your first game on Wednesday with Atlanta. How was that experience like for you? Um, it was a great experience. Um, I'm so happy to be here. Um, the team is so amazing. Everybody's been so welcoming and so helpful. Um, so I'm, I'm in a great place. It was a tie game between the Seattle Sounders and Atlanta United. Atlanta had a slow start in the beginning, being down 1-0 at the half. They were able to pick it up in the second half after Joseph Martinez scored his 19th goal of the season. Speaking about this league, you transitioned from United Soccer League to M uh, MLS. What has been the di biggest difference between <coughs> the two leagues? Um, just the physicality, um, the speed of play. I mean, it's a lot faster. Yeah. I'm Cija Lou at the McCamish Pavilion, where Atlanta Dream just defeated the Indiana Fever by 22 points. It was a slow start for the Dream, allowing the Fever to score 22 points in the first quarter, but it was game over after that. They kept the lead for the rest of the game. And 73 points alone by the bench tonight. What is it about this bench that has been able to be so consistent every single game? I was able to speak with Jeremy Lin prior to the game today. He's a nine-year veteran on this young Atlanta Hawks team that is in a year of rebuilding. Both me and Jeremy come from Chinese descent, so I was actually able to do the interview in Mandarin today. Uh, Jeremy, in this team, Lloyd with this tough loss, how is the team going to collect itself and move forward and try and get that playoff spot in the NFC? The Dallas Cowboys defeated the Atlanta Falcons 22-19 to in this Week 11 matchup. The offense was slow to start. Both teams weren't able to get a touchdown until the final quarter. 2018 was an eventful year for Oakville, from electing in a new town council to being named the best place to live in Canada by Money Sense magazine. Your team has had a pretty tough schedule over these last six games, playing some of the top teams in the league. How much does a tough schedule like that raise your competitive instinct? mom to mom biz tries to host their network shops at local businesses ran by women to help give them exposure. You have left such a big legacy when it comes to journalism in Atlanta, in the whole city. What, having done everything now, what would you say is the legacy you want to leave now? I guess what I hope is that I've been a mentor to others, been able to share information that helped them move up in the business, we talk about things that normally women don't talk about when they're in this business. I'm pretty blunt telling them what works and what doesn't work and how it's so important to be involved in the community. That's how you get longevity. Not only what you do on the air, but what you do in the community.